Hale, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the Majors. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the Lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Quartermaster, he's just a bit to the northwest. Good luck to you, then. What do we have here? I heard the new Grey Warden recruit was from the Circle. I don't believe we've met, but I've certainly heard a lot about your talent. My name is Wynn, and I congratulate you on your harrowing, marvelous work. The Fade is a dangerous place. Oh, ho. you know all there is to know already, do you? Irving said as much about you. Remarkable self-confidence. So, a Grey Warden, fighting alongside the King. Not too shabby for someone just out of apprenticeship. Good. You'll need them when you face the Darkspawn. Mages have always been pivotal in the fight against the Darkspawn. Perhaps you'll be the one to turn the tide this time. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? They do not live there, nor would any sane mage trespass as deeply into that realm as the Black City, which lies at its heart. Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your master. So... Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could be decorating some darkspawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Ah, oh, well, too bad. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Not an elf, yet here you are. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they'd cook this ritual up just for our benefit. Huh. <laughs> that depends on what kind of life you've led. Me, I'm perfectly willing to accept that this joining is some kind of punishment. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see? 
and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see, <laughs> like we have a choice. <laughs> you sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. You there, Elf. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? What? Oh, uh... You're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. I... Uh, please, forgive my rudeness. There are so many Elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Uh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... P please, pardon my terrible manners. I... Uh, I'm just the Quartermaster, a simple man. No one special. Thank you. Did you come for some supplies, perhaps? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> So long as you keep it quiet. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? Again, 
Is there something you need? Some supplies, but... Is there something you need? Welcome, young woman. Yes, and you are a mage of the circle. You must be familiar with the tranquil who serve there. I create and oversee the enchantment of weapons and armor for the king's forces here at Ostagar. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly we would not get by on charity. It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Goodbye. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the Revered Mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the Blight is how it brings people together. You're not the first to tell me that. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage.
Really? You don't look like a mage. Uh, that is... I mean... How interesting. Wait, I do know who you are. You're Duncan's new recruit from the Circle of Magi. I should have recognized you right away. I apologize. No problem, it's just my background makes mages nervous, and nervous mages make me nervous. <laughs> I don't want to be a toad. I like the way I am. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alistair, the new Grey Warden. Though I guess you knew that. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. I know. I felt the same way when I did this. Unfortunately, they don't give us much choice. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? All right, all right, fair enough. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. Dabbeth and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? Right, that cut purse Duncan conscripted. Not sure what Duncan sees in him, to be honest. Keep an eye out, maybe we'll see the other one, or I can track him down later. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. I suspect you are one of the new Grey Wardens. Will you accept the Maker's blessing? Then I bless you, Grey Warden, in the name of Andraste and the Maker above. May the chant of light carry your name to the ears of our Lord. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. Sir Jury is my name. 
I hailed from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camps in the valley are all human. I did not mean to offend you. Clearly your skills have impressed Duncan. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? As am I. Has anyone told you about it? I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. I wasn't deserting. But when you catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night, what else are you gonna think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. <laughs> oh, that's sweet of you, dearie. How about you marry me instead? At least I could get a kiss before they hang me. And it's not as if they're wrong. I probably would have deserted later. Just not when they caught me is all. I hope that doesn't spoil your opinion of me. I'm still hungry enough to eat my shoe. Because you might want something I don't need. Them circle wizards got a chest they keep things in. Magical things. And I stole the key. That's why I'm here. I got one of them drunk, took his key and tried to sneak to the chest. They assumed I was deserting. I can't use it from here, but I'd trade you for some food and water. I swallowed it, but it's uh, come back into my possession since then, so to speak. And an excellent party trick, I'll bet. Yeah, well, do you want the key or not? Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect, and I can go and do something else. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, 
Here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Huh. Considering where that came from, let's hope we're not the only 